This video is about kickoffs in Rocket League Sideswipe. In this video, we'll go through every single kickoff currently in the game, from the most common, like the front flip, pancake, and fake, to the less common, like these. Basically, if you're tired of doing the same few kickoffs in every game, you've come to the right place, because this is how to do every single kickoff in Rocket League Sideswipe. It doesn't get much simpler than the front flip kickoff. Just boosted the ball, then front flip into it. Either getting a regular front flip or a red shot. And whilst it is simple, it's also pretty high risk, as you could just flip past the ball and end up flying through the air like this. So I don't personally recommend it. The pancake was once the staple of pretty much every sideswipe player regardless of rank. I myself even made a video about it called Never Lose a Kickoff Again. That's how confident I was that it was super OP. And whilst it isn't as popular or as OP as it used to be, it's still a very good kickoff if done well. To do it, just boost towards the ball and then just before you make contact, aim up so that the bottom of your car touches the ball and that's it, there's your pancake. Doing it well, however, is more complicated and requires a lot of control and fast reactions to ensure the ball doesn't slip past you. But this is a great kickoff, highly recommended. As a slight modification to the simple pancake, you can also add a purple shot after the pancake. So just do your pancake as usual and then immediately follow it up with a purple shot. This one can be good in some situations, but often you'll just end up giving the ball away to your opponent, so I'm not a fan of this one. The offensive pancake is one of my all-time favourite kickoffs. It's basically a pancake, however, instead of just flopping onto the ball like this, you instead want to try to take the ball up into the air. To do it, just boost at the ball, and then just as your nose is about to touch the ball, aim up and keep boosting. If the ball pops up like this, you can continue with an offensive play, and if it stays down, you can flip back down to defend, so it works in pretty much every situation. The defensive pancake is the same as the offensive pancake, but instead of aiming up after the kickoff, you want to aim back towards your own goal. The objective is to basically just get a single touch and then immediately go back to defend. The pre-flip pancake is another one of my personal favourites. It's a kickoff I learned from watching the popular Sideswipe YouTuber Stevie B, who uses it in every single 1v1s match I've ever seen him play. This one is only usable from the back position. To do it, just start by boosting at the ball, and then when you're about here, front flip and continue boosting. Then aim up to pancake at the end and get a reset. Again, this is one of my favourite kickoffs, so I highly recommend it. The Wheelbarrow is an awesome kickoff that I've personally never used myself, but I've seen a lot of other players using it, and honestly, I hate coming up against them. To do this one, all you do is aim diagonal up and feather your boost like this as you approach the ball. Then hit the ball with your nose and continue feathering the boost. The Spinning Wheelbarrow is basically the same as the Wheelbarrow, but you're spinning. So just do a wheelbarrow while holding air roll. This one was actually recently recommended to me by a GC player, so it must be good. The Brodoff is another Mog's personal favourite. It's easily one of the most versatile kickoffs in the game and can be used offensively like this, or defensively like this. There are two different ways of doing it. One is to use the continuous air roll button, so if you're on touchscreen, make sure you have this option ticked. Then just boost at the ball, and when you're about this distance away, hold air roll, jump, and then immediately flip forward, getting a flip reset. And the other way is to use the single touch air roll button. So jump, then half air roll so that your wheels are facing up, then when you're about here, flip forward. And there you go, there's your broad off. The One Touch Wave Dash is another incredibly simple kickoff, and I think a really effective one. 
All you need to do with this one is to boost, then jump, hit the ball with your nose, and then immediately flip down towards the ground. This is a really safe kickoff that I can recommend to players of all ranks. This kickoff that I've called the Ram is a great kickoff that might actually be the simplest in the game. To do it, you just boost at the ball, then jump and hit it with the nose of your car. That's it. The aim with this one is to hit the ball right in the middle, which should totally stop the ball dead and stop it moving towards your goal. You can do it while boosting, which is the high risk option, or you can do it while not boosting. The delayed ram is the same as the ram, but instead you aim to reach the ball after your opponent's first hit. So just delay your kickoff slightly. And then there's the ram plus pancake. This is one I learned from watching a channel called SSL Videos, link in video description. Basically, it's a ram, so jump and hit the ball with the nose of your car, but then you follow the ball forward and immediately follow it up with a pancake. If you do it right, you should block any attempts to clear over your head. And I think this is a really useful one for when your opponent does the next kickoff, the fake. The fake is an absolutely essential kickoff for every single player. It's a way to mix up your kickoffs to keep your opponents guessing as to what you're going to do next. To do it, just start exactly the same way as every other kickoff, and then stop and turn around. And there's your fake. The AFK kickoff is similar to the fake, but instead of starting off by driving at the ball, you want to just do nothing. Basically, pretend like you're AFK. And then when your opponent hits the ball towards you, you suddenly spring to life and challenge them. This is a great one that I've seen GCs using, so highly recommended. One great option for dealing with both fakes and AFK kickoffs is the wave dash scoop, which if you do it right, can be used to pop the ball straight over your opponent and into their goal. To do it, just aim forward, hold boost, then while continuing to hold boost, jump, aim diagonal down, and then jump again. If you do it right, you should pop the ball up really high like this. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial about this one, go watch my shooting practice video linked above and in the video description. The manual flip scoop is an alternative to the wave dash scoop, where instead you use the manual flip mechanic to spin your car backwards and scoop the ball up like this. This one is cool, but it's pretty hard to get a lot of power on the hit. It is possible, but it's very difficult. So I don't really recommend this one. And then there's a slightly cooler version of that where you do a manual flip scoop, but then you add a gold shot to the end. Again, super hard to pull off, but you can score off it as well, so yeah. This one is very similar to the fake, but instead of driving at the ball and then turning around, you instead just turn straight around and go back. This can be used in 1v1s as an alternative to the fake, and it can also be used in 2v2s as a ground pass to your teammate, presuming of course that your opponent hits the ball to them. So if you are in the far position when your teammate's doing the leave it kickoff, you can try a delayed front flip kickoff where you jump early to block any high shots and then flip at the end to try to smash the ball downfield. And you can also use this in the far position in 1v1s. This kickoff uses the follow through gold shot mechanic that I taught in my gold shot tutorial. To do it, just boost at the ball, then stop boosting, turn around and do a follow through gold shot. Which you can do by just gold shotting and then immediately pressing forward on your joystick. This will cause you to do the gold shot and then continue moving forward towards the ball like this. The wall is one that you can do from the front position like this by just aiming straight up. And from the back position by first driving forward a bit and then aiming up. That's it. Become a wall and hopefully you'll block the ball from going over your head. Hopefully. Maybe not always. The stall kickoff is one that I think kind of just looks cool rather than having much use to win kickoffs. 
It was sent to me by a bunch of different viewers though, so I don't know, maybe it is good. To do it, just boost at the ball, then aim down so that your roof is facing towards the ball, and then do a stall. After that, you can kind of do whatever you want, like a purple shot, or just follow up with another touch. It's kind of up to you. And our final kickoff is the passing play kickoff, only usable in 2v2s and 3v3s. To do it, start out by signalling to your teammate that you want to do a passing play. Then boost at the ball and try to hit it straight up in the air like this. The player in the far position immediately aerials up to receive the pass. If you want an in-depth tutorial about how to do this one, check my kickoff passes tutorial linked above and in the video description. And that's it. That's every single kickoff that I've been able to identify in the game. Of course there are a bunch of weird ones that I've seen and been sent by viewers, but most of them are really just variations on the ones I covered in this video. Or have additional moves in them like manual flips or whatever that I think are just for show, so I didn't include them. However, if you do have your own kickoff that you think needs to be included in this list, please feel free to send a clip to me to my email address on screen, or come join the MOGS Discord server and share it with me there. And if you want to show your appreciation for me making this video or you want to help support my channel, please consider using the thanks button to make a donation to my channel, or become a MOGS member to donate every month and get access to special parks. And go check out my second channel if you want to see me play Sideswipe, Rocket League and other games with live commentary. And like the video if you liked it, dislike it if not, subscribe for more videos like this as well as a whole bunch of other Rocket League and Rocket League Sideswipe content. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This video is about kickoffs in Rocket League Sideswipe.